just under five kilometers to go on stage five of the Giro d'Italia. A long straight run in here to around 3.7, 3.8 kilometers to go when we have a 90 degree turn to the right. The Maglia Rosa is nice and safe at the front. He'll be hoping to hit that magic three Ks to go mark, as will the rest of the GC guys. And that's why we're seeing here Guillaume Martin at the front and safe. Bora Hansgrohe keeping their four GC leaders now after Kemner's success yesterday on Etna to the front as well. And Juan P. Lopez in the Maglia Rosa. But a quick look behind sees Groupama FDJ racing for Demar with no Cavendish, no Ewan here who had dropped on the climb in the middle. There's also the Alpacine Fenix train, no Marechko who climbed off yesterday. So it's all down to Mathieu van der Poel. Looking at Modolo coming up, he's in the purple jersey on the right hand side for Bardiani. Ballerini just following the wheels. Sean Kelly's one to watch for quick step alpha final. Bol and Dainese are in there as well. Coming up to this right hand turn now, Robbie, they've all got. To be properly placed they do and i saw vanderpool a little bit too far back so they got balked at that last little roundabout and they're trying to move up and biniam gurame has gone back and found the wheel of matthew vanderpool so he started following him already it's now bora hansgrohe in control so they'll be feeling good guiding their gc hopefuls all four of them towards the finish not to lose any time and you see that corner very tight kicks up a little bit in gradient slide uphill and now they're going to get a left hand corner and it's time for the sprinters teams if they're going to be in it to win it to get themselves to the front Cesare Benedetti doing the work. Stefan Aldani just behind him, the man who was in the breakaway yesterday. No speed to carry into this corner, Sean, but there's going to be plenty of speed picked up now over the next, what, two and a bit kilometres before they get to the next big right-angle turn, which will come left with about 1.34 k's to go. Yes, and we'll come to that point as well, the three-kilometre mark. That's a point where, you know, the GC man will say, oh, well, we're into this point now, so there's a little crash and a gap after that. Well, then we're going to get the same time. But it's, uh, it's starting to pull out here, and I think a lot of riders be more comfortable now. You can see it's lined out a lot. When it's very grouped together, you're always concerned that somebody will make a bad move and take a few riders out, and then you kind of have a big pile up. So it's looking you know, a little bit safer now as you go to the three to go. Girmay still sticking on the wheel of Mathieu van der Poel. That's on the right as we look at it. Edward Turns is there, the Belgian sprinter from Trek Segafredo as well. Through the centre, we can see that it's Consonni being brought up by Chimolai through the beautiful architecture of the streets of the city of Messina on the northeast of Sicily. It's the final day on the Mediterranean. Island and at the front, Dries de Bont moves up two and a half kilometers to go. A little kink to the right, straight line now for the next kilometer and a bit, Robbie. Yeah, right on cue, Alpes in Phoenix. They're coming forward with Matthew van der Poel, chosen not to follow Dries de Bont. It's the Trek Sigafredo team that swung in. Edward Turns, he's the man there in third wheel, got a teammate in front of him. So van der Poel choosing to hang back a little bit further with his lead out men. Going to be a little bit more of an ambush lead out, not a full team thing from one and a half to go. Just Biding their time at the moment and a bit standoffish at the front. Israel, Premier Tech on the left hand side, not willing to go full gas just yet either. But oh hey! He's helping out, he's helping out, and he's trying to move up Case Ball because he knows that's a really important couple of turns coming up in just a moment's time. There's one 90 degree left, then the big 100 degree one that we've been talking about, where the speed is off, then downhill, changes of speed, and here come Israel Premier Tech. Keep your eye on the pink helmet on the left hand side as we look at it as well. Magnus Court is looking for the lead out train of Arnold Demar. There's a kink to the right, there's a little bit of hesitation. First turn coming up in just a moment. It's time, sure. Yes, and so we could see um, ball following there a bit too early to go to the very front. You have to hold back a bit, maybe you know, five, seven position at least, and uh, just uh, wait and try and get in the slipstream of more riders a bit too early. But we can see there. Not super fast as we forecast. We're having this big lead out where it's going 65, maybe 70 kilometers an hour in those straights. Robbie, big one here. Could finish in a great position with Consoni. Yeah, they've got him there. Chimalai Consoni. Nobody really wanting to go to the front too early, knowing that from the last corner of this 800 meters, they swing into the headwind. It's all about timing coming out of the slipstream. So choose your position carefully. Big squeeze coming on, and look how narrow that is. Low speed. If you're too far back now, it's going to cost so much energy to come to the front. Van der Poel, he's moving up in purple on the right-hand side. Looking good. They're looking around. Where is Demar? 
And that was a brilliant, brilliant bit of cornering by Miles Scottson there. And Demar is being brought up on the left-hand side as we look at it. Fast downhill here with 500 metres to go. It is absolutely rapid coming into this headwind section now. Timing is just about everything. As Gimai now moves up right onto the wheel of Phil Bauhaus. On the right-hand side, you can see Ball being put into position as well. There's Rick Zabel trying to pile it up. Giacomo Nizzolo, Gimai to the left. He's boxed in. He's in the barrier. There's Balletini in front of him. Demar now launches. Demar now launches. Launches. There's no match of on the pool at the minute. It's Demar through the centre. Demar through the centre. Arnold Demar is back. Brilliantly done. They won the last corner. They win the sprint to the line. And it's Arnold Demar proving you don't need every piece of the lead out. You just need to race properly. Sensational. And Arnold Demar back to winning ways on Sicily.